Are you suffering from intestinal disorders like nausea, diarrhea, bloating, constipation? Then you are not alone. A survey suggests that 74% of Americans suffer from some form of digestive disorder. What exactly is going on? Could it be the connection between the vagus nerve and your digestion? What is the connection? And how can you improve your digestion? If you want to know the answers for these questions, then you are in the right place. Hey, change makers, are you open to transforming into a healthy and a happy you? I am Rajita Bamakanti, registered nurse, faith-based holistic coach, and founder of Healthy You Lifestyle Center. If you want to develop healthy habits for life, one step at a time, then click the red subscribe button and the bell icon now. So what is this vagus nerve? The vagus nerve is the 10th of the 12 cranial nerves that extend directly from the brain and down into your digestive system. Vagus nerve is the communication line between the brain and the gastrointestinal tract. It also keeps the brain informed about the status of the muscle contractions, the speed of the food passage through your gut and the feeling of hunger and satiety. Here is the link between the vagus nerve and your digestion. So what we eat, which is in our gut, is connected to how we feel in our brain. That's that bi-directional connection. The vagus nerve is like an information highway, allowing your brain to receive important information and to deliver an appropriate response. For example, if you eat a food that triggers intestinal inflammation, the vagus nerve detects the inflammation and notifies your brain. It says, hey brain, we have got some inflammation going on. Do something about it. Then the brain sends that information back to the intestines, initiating a biological process to lower the inflammation. Like dispatching the fire department to put out a fire. Amazing, isn't it? If your vagus nerve is weak, then the signal is weak and the flow of information between the gut and the brain is impeded. If the vagus nerve can't alert your brain to the inflammation, the brain can't send that fire department to put the fire off. The inflammation continues to grow and becomes chronic. When your vagus nerve is not toned, the nerve can't effectively foster communication between the body and the brain. This not only contributes to the digestive disorders, but can also affect other parts of the body, including your heart, the liver, the kidneys, and even the tongue. It is also a part of the sympathetic nervous system responsible not only for digestion, but also for emotional well-being. So how do you stimulate or tone your vagus nerve so that it stays nice and strong? 
these strategies are very free and proven effective ways to tone your vagus nerve. And those strategies are practice of yoga, meditation, and breath work, which can ease the symptoms of the digestive disorders. And increasing number of studies are coming to the conclusion that relaxation techniques such as yoga, meditation, breathing, and other mindful practices help to tone the vagus nerve, restoring clear lines of communication between the brain and the gut. Once the vagus nerve is strong and healthy, the symptoms from the digestive disorders like the irritable bowel syndrome, Crohn's disease will also improve. And that's not all. A toned vagus nerve has shown to help with other inflammatory and autoimmune diseases. And because it is a part of the parasympathetic nervous system, it can improve the symptoms of depression, PTSD, and promote feeling of well-being. I am your faith-based holistic coach. Until next time, make simple lifestyle choices every day to tone your vagus nerve. In the Holistic Healing Journey course, we teach you on how to integrate meditation, yoga, breath work into your daily life.